Now, of course, the St. Patrick's Day is about the parades, the floats, and of course, the tumblers. But what really matters is the unique fashion. Despite Herman Cain suspending his campaign, he says this won't be the last time you'll see him. Presidential election was plan A, but plan B, changing Washington from the outside. Sade Gray, NBC5, Chicago. According to police, a 24-year-old was stabbed twice in the Lakeview neighborhood. Local residents are stunned that this happened. Right here at this very spot, Hector Placencia didn't see the speeding cab coming towards him, fatally striking him. Just a couple of feet away, a 26-year-old woman was struck by a tour bus about a month before. These flowers stand here as a memorial to remind that it was a tragic accident. Officials at Melrose Park have not given any further information, but the Cook County Coroner's Office did confirm it was a fatal shot to a 17-year-old. Reporting at Melrose Park, I'm Charde Gray, NBC5 News. The crowd cheered as the bagpipes made their way north of Columbus Drive, kicking off the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade this afternoon. It started this morning with the traditional dying of the Chicago River. Natasha Thomas says she absolutely loves this festivity. And I'm enjoying the parade. It's a beautiful day and the Irish dancers are amazing. Charlotte Davis got a front row seat with a little help from the police. She says she's been attending many years. Well, I just love the festivities and I love, you know, and so many people come from all over, the, all over, the, every place. You know, it's great. And who could complain about the weather? We've had beautiful weather for the past four days. Today was the warmest St. Patrick's Day in more than 140 years. Now, these guys didn't seem to be affected by the sun too much. I'm kind of sweating a little bit, but it's all good and all fun for St. Patrick's Day, you know. Oh, my God, this parade is amazing and it's so loud and the weather is amazing. Now, of course, the St. Patrick's Day is about the parades, the floats, and, of course, the tumblers. But what really matters is the unique fashion. The reaction to these outfits has been nothing but paparazzis. Not really comments, just mostly a uh, request for photo ops. Tons of reactions. Everyone loves the hair. He wants to get pictures of it and high fives, loves his hair. After the past controversy drunkenness at parades, this one was definitely family oriented. Charday Gray, NBC5 Chicago. I just can't believe she did something like this. A clearly upset mother and father are asking why a daycare provider dropped off her twins at a wrong location on a snowy Friday night. February 10th, two-year-old twins, Micaiah Taylor and Micaiah Taylor, were dropped off in the 7100 block of South Normal, just a couple of blocks down from their location. Who really drops kids off with another kid? When you, you know, when you have a business, when you, you know, you a daycare provider. A neighbor called me and let me know it was a car blowing in front of my home and that it was, uh, you know, had been there for a minute. The husband of the daycare owner dropped off the toddlers, rushing off, leaving them in the cold. Kincaid sent her son outside to see if he was honking for their attention. To their surprise, they found two toddlers outside of their gate. He didn't know exactly what to do. You know, he was just, and the kids, he brought them in the house. It was cold, it was snowing, the guy pulled off. Whether it was a miscommunication in the address or rushing to get out of the snow, the parents are still wondering why an acquaintance they knew for so long would do something like this to their children. Our kids got to pay for this. You know what I'm saying? If it's like the way you just said it, like said it, it was a mistaken address, I guess. So why That's what I'm assuming he got the wrong. If it wasn't for the power of social media, Taylor may not have known that her children were missing. She's on my Facebook, and I'm like, are you serious? I just talked to Miss Yvette and she just told me she had my kids. The children have been placed with DCFS under foster care until February 14th. The parents are relieved that their children are safe and unharmed, but they're still furious. I'm just I'm trying to understand why would you drop, leave them like that? We tried contacting Angels Aboard, but they did not answer our calls. Police are still investigating. Sade Gray, NBC, Chicago. I am at peace with my wife. And she is at peace with me. 
At the beginning of his speech, one would think that presidential candidate Herman Cain was not dropping out of the Republican race. But in the end, with his wife by his side at the Atlanta rally, Cain announced he was suspending his campaign. I am suspending my presidential campaign because of the continued distraction. While watching it all unfold on his laptop, Republican political strategist Isaac Hayes says he did not think he would drop out. I, I was surprised. Uh, you know, his campaign had just put up a website a day or two ago, Women for Herman Cain. So I assumed that uh, that was a, a sign that he was going to go ahead and tough it out, at least to Iowa. You know. With the sexual harassment and 13-year affair allegations, Cain simply said it was untrue. Shock and disappointment emerged from the crowd after his announcement to suspend his campaign one of them screaming 2016. Eric Cohn of the Chicago Tea Party says they discussed that it was impossible to know the truth of what really happened. When there are no other witnesses, we, we just don't know. Many Tea Partiers gravitated towards Herman Cain after his speech on his fiscal and social views, addressing him as the anti-Mitt Romney. Herman Cain was somebody that was receptive to the Tea Party, um, and that was speaking to the issues that concern the Tea Party. We tried to reach out to one of the women who came out about the sexual allegations, Sharon Bilek, but she declined to speak at this time. Kane says he will issue an endorsement soon, but didn't say who the person will be. Despite Herman Kane suspending his campaign, he says this won't be the last time you'll see him. Presidential election was plan A, but plan B, changing Washington from the outside. Sade Gray, NBC5, Chicago.